the clash. Now, first of all, um, Steve said there's 40, but there isn't. Where's your That's right. uh, member? Mick's ill. Uh, he couldn't come. What's up? Oh, his pipes are frozen. What, his house, you mean? Yeah. His body pipes. And so that's, that's yeah, kept to the way of it. That's a bit bad. Hey, listen, recently, you're on a couple of time out. Okay. Now, you read the article, the article of course, and they talked a lot about your sort of relation with your audience, you know, and uh, the change that's going to come if it comes, whatever. What do you think about that? What do you think of your audience as such? I don't really know this one myself. What do you mean? That's it. Mm-hmm. So light on stage there in the dark. Mm-hmm. Well, who are your audience? Well, we meet some of them after. Whoever well, wants to meet us, we can kind of meet them. Mm-hmm. They just seem like young people, mostly. Are you a very accessible group? I mean, you know... I think so, yeah. yeah. We don't like to sort of, after the last number, run out into the street and jump in a car and With blankets over here. Yeah, be halfway down the road by the time they go in like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand you use quite strange drumsticks on stage, right? Yeah, military sticks. Now, why is that? It's about any ones that you can get that are heavy enough. Why? You, uh, you like to make a lot of noise, then? Yeah, as much as possible. Mm, uh, you break a lot of sticks too, yeah? Yeah, about, about five or six or nine on average. Yeah. What happened the other night? You went through quite a lot. Yeah, the new record was 11. 11? Yeah. One night? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. The last will see tomorrow night, like Wednesday. And you're going to try and go for 12 15, or something? Yeah. 15. 15. Yeah, why do they break? You just give them just too much. You can't hit so far, yeah. Isn't, isn't your drum going to bust or something? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> okay, now Paul, you, I understand you're trying to do something special with your bass. Yeah, get a bit of extra twang out of it, I suppose, to try and play it. Yeah, um, basically. And you learned to play when you joined the band, didn't you? Yeah, the first day I joined. And well, uh, how long has that been there? It's probably about two years now. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah, you, well, you're trying to develop a, a lighter bass to move about with. So yeah, like I can't that. put it behind me yet because it's too heavy. Like, it's guitar, it's like really light. So I just want to like, get something that's lighter. The bass guitars have to be heavier. Yeah, because they need to sort of hold the sound in. You know, like the wood needs to be heavy. So it's like something to do with the strings and all that stuff. What sort of ideas for the future have the band got? Well, we just want to be the best, really. Best one? The best group. Best group, full stop. Yeah, and keep that integrity as well. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's, that's what the uncle in Time Out seemed to talk about a lot, didn't it? This sort of connection, with, as they call the roots. You know, sort of the kids you play to. I mean, what do you think of that? Do you ever, do you ever, I mean, do you believe, as they say, that you know, by per se, a band is gonna gonna leave the initial audience to start it off? Mm-hmm. Simply because it has to tour and well, not become a group. have done that, but I mean, like, don't have to. You know, we, like we get the states, right? Which means that it don't mean that we're gonna disappear at the states. It means we're gonna have to work twice as hard. Mm-hmm. Right? We're still, we playing out here just as much as we always have done. Mm-hmm. Well, do you intend to carry on gigging as long as possible? Or as much as possible. Yeah, Muddy Waters is still doing it. He's 89 or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Muddy Waters, yeah. He, can, he flies over here and does it. Yeah, Muddy Waters had a very hard career though. Do you see that happening to you? Yeah, I should think so. Okay, how, how, about, how about your sort of relationship with sort of record companies and so on? Because, because of the songs you do write, I mean, they, they sometimes attack the very type of organisations that put you out on the street. Well, it's probably any organisation really. Probably not only CBS, probably sort of more of a deep rooted thing. Okay. Anyway, we have to wind up now. Okay. Like, I think it's a wasted journey. Uh, I hope um, okay, pints get better. You know, mixed pints. Mixed pints. Yeah. Okay, right, thank you, the clan.